Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you are interested in luxury fashion as well as beauty treatments, cosmetic enhancements, this is probably the perfect channel for you because I keep it 100% real and raw with you guys about everything I've had done to my face because I love getting done and also my mother owns an aesthetics clinic so I also know what I'm talking about whereas you have a lot of people that like to just come on here talk to you about random things and give you false information. So I aim to keep this channel 100% real and raw and actually provide you guys with actual knowledge about these treatments. Today I'm going to be talking to you about two treatments I have had done in the past I want to say seven months which have helped change my face. <laughs> helped. If you're someone that's not interested in cosmetic enhancements and you're totally against it, then I really can't comprehend why you would click on this particular video. You probably are stupid. There is no other real explanation for it. Did I just call you stupid? Yes. Because do I think you're stupid for clicking on a video about something that you hate just to aggravate yourself? Uh, yeah. Also, if you're here to just leave negative comments, you should just switch off because I've done a plethora of these videos and there really isn't anything you can say that's gonna stop me or make me feel ugly or make me feel worse about myself because I am very happy with myself. Contrary to the fact that I'm getting done, I'm actually very happy with myself. I'm not really changing my face. I'm very happy with my face. They're just small enhancements that I do to just make it look better. If you guys already haven't grasped, I'm a very vain and vapid person. I own it. Without further ado, we're gonna get straight into it. Back in January, I basically got Botox done in my eyebrows. I've been getting Botox done for the past two years regularly. And when I say regularly, I mean like once every six months. I don't really need to get Botox done because of aging. Although saying that, anti-aging, starting younger rather than older is perfect. You wanna be able to prevent and prolong the aging process as opposed to reverse it because reversal is a lot harder than prevention and that is the key. A lot of people don't know this and I just want to let you guys know that if you start preventing the aging process earlier rather than later, you will look younger and fresher for longer. I get told I look super old for my age. I am 24, I'm turning 25 in February. I'm an Aquarius. You need to understand if, if you're into like wrinkles, that's cool. This is probably not the best thing for you, but I basically started doing Botox in my forehead and only my forehead because I had a very overactive eyebrow. I don't know if you guys have seen my previous videos, but I had one eyebrow which is just super strong. Like it always looked like I was like this emoji. Not great, and I didn't like it. So I didn't want to completely freeze my forehead because that's really not the way forward anymore. No one does the completely frozen look unless you started doing Botox 50 years ago and you love that frozen look. The frozen look is not great, particularly when you're young, you don't want to have a frozen face. You need to be able to show expression, although I do say expressions are the way to premature wrinkles. I try my hardest to avoid facial expressions. I also have a limited spectrum of emotions which really helps me to not show any emotion. It's great. Oh yeah, I'm sarcastic. If you're new here, I'm a very sarcastic person. It'll probably take a while for you to understand the sarcasm, but if you don't get it, that sounds like a you problem and not a me problem. So if you're not into it, you can sign off. It really doesn't affect my paycheck. You've already paid me enough by just coming up to here. I got Botox in three points on my face. So one here, one here and one here. Okay, so today I am back at Violite and as you can see, I've got no makeup on. I've also got a massive pimple on my forehead. Convenient. It's very early in the morning, which is why I still sound asleep and look super puffy. But today I am trying out the cat eye brow lift with our new doctor at Biolite. I'm so excited. This is a treatment which I've not ever done before and I'm really excited to try. It's supposed to basically like give you this kind of lift. I've only ever done Botox in my forehead to like freeze my eyebrow and I've had Profilo in the sides of my face to kind of like lift it, which was a skin boosting treatment. It wasn't actually like fillers or anything. So I love that, but I really wanna try this. I also need to get Botox in my forehead a little bit to kind of just freeze one of my eyebrows. I have one really strong brow, which just like, it just, it's just, more stuck there or like just just rock just it just goes up when i talk <laughs> and it's just not it's just not okay so yeah i'm gonna freeze that um not completely because obviously freezing your face is like not what you do these days it's called baby botox so 
be Botox is like when you just imply when you just inject like small amounts of Botox not to completely freeze the muscle but to just relax the muscles and if you guys don't know the difference between Botox and fillers I will insert a link down below or a little card up there to kind of show you guys a video that I did on basically lip fillers and in that video I explain the difference between Botox and fillers because surprisingly it's 2020 and people still don't know the difference between Botox and fillers which is honestly quite shocking considering how much information there is out there. Okay so first we just sterilize the area with some alcohol, make sure it's clean before we apply the numbing cream which isn't really necessary because this area doesn't actually hurt when injected and the needle itself is so small, it doesn't hurt at all. I'm just trying to cut out this volcano on my forehead. So now we're going to remove the emla. My face is nice and numb. And then we're going to discuss what to do with this situation. A couple of options mm -hmm. that you can do. If you like the arch, which is this, if you like it this way, this high, we can keep it that way. <laughs> if you want to drop it a little bit, yeah. make it a little less sharp, we yeah. can do that. Okay. Or you can even go the other way, you know, but I think this would suit your face really yeah. well. A little bit of a drop. Okay. Uh, it would make it a little curvy and nice yeah. and smooth, yeah? Not this sharp and pointed. The whole, the buttons will raise the whole brow per yeah. se. That uh, will look nice and you like pull that. We can do that as well. Yeah. So what yeah. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this corner a little yeah. bit so the tail of the brow would be higher. Sorry. <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> so okay. the tail would be lifted a little yeah, bit. Yeah, perfect. And this would go down. Yeah, so, so it's see? not yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm we're trying to achieve with the Botox. Yeah. Right? So instead of this, it's gonna be like that. Perfect. Yeah, sounds good. Because <laughs> right. I just don't like this arch. This like this arch, yeah. Yeah, I really don't like it. So we're gonna pull this a little out. And we're gonna drop this because it's just it's too high, you know. Mm. Um, and not look so surprised all the time. And this is actually my natural brow shape, but um, I've always wanted to like whenever I do my eyebrows, I try and get them as straight as possible. But I'm gonna have to wait to grow them out to do that because they've been microbladed this way now, and I just. See how it goes. Keep an angry face. Brilliant. Just keep angry. Just stay angry. Can you be surprised now? Okay, you don't have to move lines, but I'm gonna drop the brow. Mm -hmm. and drop the arch on the brow. Then just a couple of units to make sure you don't have the lines ever. <laughs> I'm gonna stay like that, smile with your teeth, if you have a four. Just do here and do here to make sure you never have these lines mm -hmm. as well. No crow's feet. <laughs> Will you be able to hold that? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> if it gets in the way, just like move it. <laughs> oh no, but do you have a little bit of pain? That's it's okay. okay. <laughs> Good with pain. Okay. okay. Can you be angry with me? Relax. That's it. You okay? Mm -hmm. Angry again? You relax. Last time, angry. That's it. This side. Can you be angry? You feeling a little bit of heaviness? Mm, no, it's okay. It's okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, the last injection here and we're done. That's it. Okay, good. You're done really well. I like needles. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Just gonna do the deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am done. And basically Botox, the effects of it you see after what, two weeks? 10 days. 10 days. 
and you shouldn't really drink alcohol or coffee because it kind of speeds up metabolism and just affects the Botox. So, wait, when can I drink coffee again? You can drink coffee in three days. Okay, yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll see you guys in 10 days. It's been four hours since I did my Botox. I've not been able to put my head down really to like look at my phone or do anything which requires me to put my head down, which has been okay. This is what I currently look like. I've obviously put on a little bit of makeup, but like I said, you'll see full results in about 10 to 12, maybe 14 days. So I'll get back to you guys. It's very important to get it done over on the side, on the corners, because this prevents sagging. And basically, I do not want to lift my eyebrows. Botox can be used to actually lift as well as relax muscles. So if you are looking to get the cat eye look, which everyone and their mother is trying to achieve, the, you know, without having to. This is the perfect treatment for you. And if you are scared of threads, I know a lot of people talk about threads. Threads are something which they basically start from here and they just kind of like pull your face. I am against threads because threads actually are not for young women and people are promoting it as if it's something that's okay to do. If it was okay to do it, I would have done it by now, trust me. None of these procedures that I do are actually not okay for someone my age. My mother would never allow me to do something and promote it if it wasn't safe and if it wasn't reversible. So I just wanna say all these treatments are reversible and they do actually wear off. Botox doesn't last forever, neither does fillers. You don't really need to stress too much. If there's something that you don't like and you've had it done, you can always have it reversed just want to let you guys know so today i'm going to be getting the salt facial so you guys want to see the procedure without a filter then make sure you check out the biolite instagram stories so i basically got botox to kind of just relax my muscles and make sure that my forehead was completely even see look i still have movement i can still frown and pout when i don't get my weight and I can still look surprised when I open a new Birkin, even though I know what it is. Botox is great. If you do want to get the cat eye effect, you can definitely achieve that with Botox. And you'll see in this procedure, I actually did not want to lift my eyebrows. A lot of people think I've had a brow lift, and I haven't. I have very high brows. I also don't like my current shape of eyebrows. I've been working on like growing them out, and I'm hoping to redo my microblading. But basically, I had my brows dropped and kind of just pulled out a little bit, but not too much, where it looks... Silly. Okay, so now that I've finished doing my Botox back in January, it's been, what now, eight months? Long time. And the effects have still lasted. I haven't had a top up since. I only do this whenever I feel it's necessary, once I feel like the Botox has really worn off, which isn't very frequent because I just started doing Botox and I'm still young. I still want movement in my face and I think it's absolutely amazing. I would 100% recommend Botox. I don't really find any pain although i do have a high pain threshold i don't think there's a lot of pain just the initial prick could put you off but it's not a super thick needle so you don't really feel it you can only just feel a little bit of pressure when it goes in but it doesn't last long there are things you need to know after you get your botox treatment done but if you guys want a full botox video i'll definitely film that with a professional the doctor at our clinic and we'll go into more detail about the things that you cannot do after you get your Botox. Then I got something which I had never done before and this was masseter Botox. Masseter Botox is Botox in the masseter muscles. I did talk about this very briefly on my Instagram story. So if you guys follow me there, you would have seen it. I did promise you guys I would do a proper in-depth video once I really actually saw results. And I think a lot of you guys have actually noticed the results and that is so amazing to me because I see my face every day. I don't really see it changing very much unless I look back at old videos and I'm like, wow, my face looks so square. And all of a sudden I have a much slimmer jawline. And I think Master Botox is one of my favorite treatments I've ever had done. It's just amazing. The effects really showed after four weeks. So now I have uh, just finished my salt facial. I've come downstairs <laughs> to see Dr. Shweta and now I'm gonna be getting Master to Botox and Botox the Master Lash. Do you want to do the talking? Sure. I don't know. <laughs> so this is Dr. Shweta at Biolai. Hi. She's amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're going to slim down her jaw a little bit. And uh, this also helps with jaw anxiety if you do that. Yeah, you want to do that. Sleep. Yeah. Okay, so this really helps, especially if you've got your teeth done. Your dentist will tell you that you're grinding the top of your teeth, which is accurate. 
gives you a jaw anxiety as well. So this treatment should last for about six months and you'll see results within four to six weeks. Amazing. So that's nice, it's worth it. Amazing. So basically, as you can see, this is my jawline. And if I clench, this muscle, right? Yeah, I won't. Perfect. So right here, this is gonna be more relaxed and like it's gonna slim down. Which is when you relax, look here, okay, clench. Oh wow, yeah. That's the whole <laughs> muscle. Relax, clench. Yeah, you do get joint anxiety. Your muscle is really So when do you see the results from muscle cell Botox? If you have joint anxiety, immediately in three, four days you'll feel a difference. Okay. The shape of your face takes six weeks. Okay. The shape of your face takes a little bit longer. Sometimes if you're really lucky, this might be your only session. Oh. <laughs> so Botox never wears off. Amazing. Alright, last time, can you clench? Relax. Masseter Botox basically typically lasts approximately three to six months, which is when you then need to get your second top up. It's been about two months, I think, since I did mine, and I'm so pleased with the results. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I didn't really get it for cosmetic reasons, but mainly because I tend to clench my jaw a lot, although the cosmetic effects of it have been amazing. I have stopped grinding my teeth. I tend to grind my teeth in my sleep, which is really bad for me, particularly because I have veneers. I'm not trying to grind down my natural teeth, nor my expensive teeth. It's just not a vibe. And it is actually very painful. I used to struggle really to chew food sometimes because my jaw would clench and it would be so painful. So what the Master Botox does is basically it relaxed the muscles in my jaw, it reduced them. And it's also helped prevent me from grinding my teeth and clenching my jaw which is also known as jaw anxiety so sometimes when i'm anxious i'll clench my jaw subconsciously i'll be doing it and then i'll just like switch and realize i'm clenching my jaw and i'll relax so if you guys basically just do this you clench your teeth at the back you can feel it here and if you relax it goes obviously <laughs> i can't really feel much anymore but initially i could feel it really strongly here as well as here because this is all connected and I would get really bad headaches and it would annoy me so much okay so I realized I didn't end this video I've been doing this quite often recently basically to conclude I would 1000% recommend Botox if you have an overactive eyebrow or if you temporarily want to try out the cat eye trend without having to get threads because some people just they just don't look good with threads and I know it's a trend 
and I know threads can wear off, but like, I feel like Botox is like just the more gradual option. It's the less extreme. A lot of people are just literally stretching their faces and I feel like inevitably you're just stretching skin which doesn't really need to be stretched right now and threads are mainly used for like mature women who want like a temporary facelift like a non-surgical facelift i'm 25 my skin is not sagging it's not super stretchy it doesn't need to be forcefully stretched in ways where it should not be so i would not personally recommend threads right now if you're young however if you want to try out botox and just kind of you know, either drop an eyebrow or raise your eyebrows, kind of, you know, stretch out the tail a little bit, then I would definitely recommend doing that. But definitely speak to a professional prior to doing any of these treatments and make sure you are of consensual age, which is 18. Ideally, it should be 21, but if you're 18 and you're really dying to do this, then take a parent with you. Don't ever do anything if your parents tell you no, like, just don't do it. <laughs> and I say that because I did get my nose done at 18 and I, I, it's not that I regret it, I mean I do regret it, but I did it way too young and eventually it just dropped back to what it was normally looking like, so I've had to fill it. And I'm still looking for an amazing nose job doctor so I can do my revision. It's not as easy as the first time where you can just go to any plastic surgeon or any doctor because a lot of the top plastic surgeons will not do revisions and a lot of top plastic surgeons don't know how to actually fix the inside. So. Yeah, that is a topic for another day, but we'll get into that for sure if I do ever decide to go down the revision rhinoplasty route. However, masseter Botox has definitely really helped my jaw anxiety. I no longer find myself clenching my jaw and like being in a lot of pain. And I used to actually struggle eating because my jaw would tense up from chewing and it was really annoying. But I hope this video is helpful and giving you guys an insight on the many benefits of Botox. And I just wanna remind you guys, Botox does not fill the face up. You do not look puffy or full from Botox. So if you think I've injected my face and I look really big and puffy from Botox, it's really not doing that. It's not filling, it's not fillers. And I don't have fillers anywhere apart from in my nose and in my lips. My jawline fillers, literally I did them two years ago, so they subsided. So yeah, anyone that says my face looks like it's full of Botox, you're just an idiot. <laughs> But thanks for watching. Thanks for the coin. I'll see you in my next video.